Thank you. Ugh. All right. Says I'm on. So, yay. <laughs> I'm going to start this camera. This is just my recording camera for. Thank you. Ugh. All right. Okay. Oh, good. Says I'm on. I don't really want to hear myself talking, so I'm going to turn that off sound wise. So. No? You're not gonna? You're not gonna? Cool. <laughs> anyway, we're making guacamole first. Um, but my, I'm gonna be making coleslaw different than you've probably ever had it. Um, I call it grandpa's coleslaw because my grandpa used to make it. It's really good. Um, but it's not like coleslaw at KFC or <laughs> it is in no way sweet. It's really yummy. I will peel this onion over here. Sorry, I'm away. But you can hear me. Hopefully, I guess. Alright, got my onion peeled. Uh, kind of. Maybe not. Thought I did. Ew. Oops. Having a hard time with stuff. All right. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to use half of this onion for pico de gallo. And then the other half I'm going to use in my coleslaw because it's got a lot of onion in it. Um, I need a vessel. can be from Pico. So we'll put it over here. So let's cut this one in half. And just making sure that's actually on. Hello to anybody on YouTube. Say hi in the comments if you're watching. I'm making guacamole right now. And then I'm going to be making um, coleslaw. My grandpa's coleslaw. Which if you've had it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> and if I've made it for you, you like it. I don't think I've ever had anybody not like my coleslaw. And it's the easiest recipe ever. Easiest. And I mean easiest. <laughs> I am not a professional chef and I don't claim to be. I am not the best cutter. <laughs> I try. Hello! I can't see who's talking but hi! Ah! Ugh. My eyes watering of course. Woo! Good lord. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on. Wash my hands. Rinse out my eye. Oh. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm sorry. Those onions are spicy. Yes, spicy. How's your days going, everybody in the internet world? Good, I hope. I hope you all got to see a dog. I did. Okay, so normally my pico de gallo is, oh, I forgot the cilantro. One sec, let me grab that ingredient. It's important. Um, is, it's really just, it's cilantro, onions, and um, cilantro, onions, tomatoes, salt and lime juice. That's literally it. You can add jalapeno or any peppers you want. I actually did one recently really good with um, a little bit of red bell pepper, which was quite yummy. So I think I'm going to need two maters for it. And then I'm 
done with the tomatoes and then all, all of this cilantro I'm gonna put in it and then I actually got a poblano pepper in my per, uh, imperfect foods this week and actually I got two and I already roasted it and um, and, de and seeded it so I'm gonna actually put that in this pico as well it sounds really yummy that big but I could use it for trash oh but I'm gonna have this one anyway so this onion like I said is being reserved for actually let me grab this because this will be my other thing I'm making which is the coleslaw which is super easy I like Roma tomatoes um because they're they just seem to have more flesh I like that they're fleshy so there's, yeah, and they're firm, so they're easy to cut, um, easy to like just deal with handle in general. So, whoops. This is gonna make a lot of pico, um, but I like, or well, I'm gonna make pico and then I'm gonna make guacamole, I think. I don't know that I have enough ripe avocados to do. I don't need that much guac and pico's easier to use in like breakfast burritos or whatever. Oh, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to read what people are saying on there. Anyway, nah. so focus, I'm not focused. I am not focused. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to do 82 things at once. Cause I'm a dum-dum. I'm not a dum-dum, I'm very smart. I'm talk about my friends that way. Self-talk makes a difference in your life. For reals. Anyway, you put that in with your onions. Boop -a -doop -boop. And it's pretty much like equal uh, tomatoes to onions. So, um, and like the volume that it creates when you cut them. Sometimes your tomatoes will be like really lacking in sides. <laughs> so, or it's like all the schmush that you don't really want in your pico. But there's so little of like the seeds and the weird like fleshy gunk um, that in a Roma tomato anyway. So I don't know what your preferred tomato is. I wish they had more flavor. See, they're pretty generic. I remember growing up, my grandpa would always grow tomatoes and therefore my mom always did as well. And, uh, so they're always like fresh, homegrown tomatoes, which if you've had a homegrown tomato, you know what I'm talking about. There's a flavor that it's like, it's not, it's not even tomato. <laughs> it is tomato, that's the thing. It's people, there are people who've never gotten to have that flavor and it's like, oh, what a, what a travesty. They deserve it. They deserve to eat. <laughs> Everyone deserves to taste real tomato, like homegrown, fresh, it's just a, uh, it's delicious. And I usually, when I do it, um, if I do add um, a jalapeno, I do like one or um, a half of one. In this, I would probably do a whole one. Uh, it just depends on how big it is, but it's kind of up to you and how how your, um, your spice feelers in your mouth respond. So if you got sensitive spice feelers, you gotta be, and I'm pretty wussy, so I have to be careful. Although, as I've gotten older, I have become much more a fan of spicier foods. Um, although my stomach kind of disagrees these days, so it's always a, uh, it's fun. Right, so that's gonna go in my little dish. And I'm going to put some salt in it, and then I'm gonna shake the shit out of it. Cause that's how I cook my pico. Cook pico. Right. You little turd butts. These dogs are making me nuts. Get out. I left it in the sink 
I don't know why I'm singing everything. I'm sorry. It's kind of what I do after a 420 situation. <laughs> and lime juice. Obviously, fresh lime is great if you've got it, but you do not need it. Anybody that's like, no, it's bad, fuck them. Although I am a white lady giving you advice on Pico, which I don't really have any business with doing. So, um, you can add garlic if you want, because garlic's always good in anything. Um, but it's not necessary. Shake this up. A shaky, shaky, shaky. I know. Friends, all three friends that are watching. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying me be a silly goose and make yummy snacks. Ah, sorry, I know that's loud. So, we're going to taste it and make sure it's seasoned properly. I don't add black pepper. Some people do. Um... I don't really like the taste of black pepper, so it's not my typical go-to. All right. Mmm. It's a good thing it's going into guacamole because it's a little salty. Because it's something going ham on the salt a minute ago. Ooh! That's a spicy onion. A little more lime juice. Because it's a little spicy. So I'm gonna, I mean, it's fine, it'll be fine. It'll be weird. Oh, sorry, that's like right in the way. Ah, it's fine, I don't care. Anyway, so if you are unfamiliar with how to cut an avocado, you slice it down the middle, then you get the two halves beautifully ripe. And then you do one of two things. I'll show you on this one. Um, you just use the knife, tap it gently, very carefully, make sure you're aiming the knife. Uh, and then that's it, pretty easy. Um, and this is how I cut my avocados. And the next one will be a little bit more fun because it's really, it's fun <laughs> the other way. I, it, as long as it's ripe and it's for like walk, the next way is the funnest way to do an avocado. In my opinion. So this is the like, Standard, everybody I know knows this is how you get an avocado open. But I'm gonna show you the fun way. Again. And if you wanna just pop that out. Oh, I didn't do it. Sometimes it'll just like pop out, which is really funny. So you just, if it's really ripe, you just squeeze it in. Just be careful that the, uh, the seed thing, the little, not seed thing, but the, um, a little like pit doesn't go in there and I'm not sure if it did or didn't so I'm the only one eating this so I know my spoon went in my mouth and now it's back in here but that's okay because it's my snack so I'm definitely gonna need the other avocados cuz and she guacamole mainly because I made it too salty the good news is I have two more avocados. Sorry for my singing. Oh, not as ripe because it's been in the fridge. The other one I, or the other ones I had out, so. This one I'm gonna have to cut. <laughs> it's gonna be less smushed. So I'm gonna cut it smaller so it blends in a little bit better in there. Ooh. Not anywhere near as ripe as these ones, which is funny because they came in the same package. Uh, trick, if you're not gonna use your avocados right away, throw those bad boys in your fridge. If you want them to ripen quickly, leave them out. If you want them to ripen even quicklier, that's not a word, uh, put them in a brown paper bag with an apple or a banana um, or really any other fruit uh, because what it does is it releases more of that like greenhouse gas or whatever. It just ripens it faster. I'm not really sure the science, but uh, you can look it up because Google is free. 
these all of the time. To find out if celebrities have died, what they died of. That's a fun new fascination with COVID. Ooh, was it COVID or was it a legitimate reason? Anyway. Erp. That seems a little bit easier. Last one was just real. I should slow down and enjoy this process a little more. I'm like rushing, I don't know why. I'm not in any dire need to eat this second. So this is just like prep for funsies. Hello, Reed. I hope you're still watching. If you're not, I understand. Ah, smush. Smush, smush, smush. Oh. Whoops. Oh my god. Okay. That one is being difficult. I feel like I have to like fill all of the time with talking, which is kind of awful. <laughs> like I'm not actually hosting a TV show. I'm just making guacamole, man. No pressure. No pressure. All right. All right. So I've got some guacamole. Oh my gosh, that looks really good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yummy. All right, I'm gonna taste it. This is a chunky guac. Mmm, so good. <laughs> mm -mm. Now, I just got it. Yeah, man. So that is, oh, you know what? I'm gonna put a little bit more lime juice. Cause it's gonna need it. Lime juice kinda helps the, like, the guac from, or the, you know, the avocado from browning as fast as it will. Another fun trick, um, if you want, you can take salsa and cover the top of your guac um, and it will keep it from browning. Mm -mm -mm. A little tip for you. Watch out, huh? Into the fridge with you. Into the fridge with you. Ugh, I don't even know what that song is from. I just know it's like stuck in my head all the time. To the sink. To have 
some chocolates that I bought at a place that sells magic chocolates. I'm going to eat these. There's a hundred of them. A hundred of their magics. So there's ten. Oh, or five of the magic. Thank you. I'm glad you like the music, Reed. <laughs> I will have the fun with the coleslaw. I think you've had the coleslaw. I've made that for you, I'm pretty sure. Um, with my old roommate on YouTube. Not roommate on YouTube, but he's on YouTube and he's my old roommate. How weird would it be if, like, you could have, like, roommates on YouTube? That'd be a bizarre thing. All right, so there's a little bit of that brown stuff, so we're gonna... I already washed this the other day because I already made some coleslaw this week. And it sounds weird, but this is like my favorite thing to eat with spaghetti. It's just good with a red sauce. It gives like a really, it's it just, it's a yummy texture and flavor combination. It's just onions and it's literally onions, cabbage, mayonnaise, mustard, pepper. That's it. It's that simple. Um, and you can you can add stuff. I've added stuff. I've added um, jalapeno and bell pepper to it, like diced up really nicely and, and small. Dogs, I am cutting. Please stop fighting by my legs. You're going to kill me. Go get out of here. Drives me nuts. It drives me crazy when they're in the kitchen. Underfoot, ah, almost lost a finger. I didn't, but you saw what happened. <laughs> Come on, onions, get in line. Make this easier. I like to make sure the onions are diced really fine for the, or like much finer than I will for the, the Pico because I don't mind like the big chunks of onion. It's just part of eating pico. But, um, or like if I'm cooking it, but this one is straight up eating. And while I love raw onion, it can be a little overwhelming. Um, and sometimes like these onions have been really spicy. So uh, sometimes when they're that spicy, I'll actually do, um, I'll rinse them in cold water for a few minutes. Just like let them soak and then you strain them and you get, um, uh, just a lot of the that bite, that bitter bite that they can have on them. Especially with like red onions, those ones can be a mighty spicy. Oh, why am I not charging? That's bizarre. Oh. Okay. I don't know. I hope that doesn't die. <laughs> it said my battery was slow, but it's like plugged in. So I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully we did. Right. I still love watching my grandpa chop the onions for anything because he just, he was really good at it. He would ch -ch 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 chop like sideways. I always try, I always end up knocking onions all over the floor. Which you're not supposed to let fall on the floor around dogs. So I gotta be much carefuler. I know it's not a word. Uh, sorry if you're saying stuff, hi. <laughs> I don't really know how many people are watching, so I'm not totally paying attention. And now I'm gonna cry again, hold on. Oh, onions, rockers. Maybe I can pull this one up so I can see. It starts on TikTok. Oh my god. I don't care. 
Oh my gosh, fucking annoying. Okay, cool. This is great. Super fun. I'm now like, ah, fuck. Oh my God. Okay, never mind. I just want to be able to see what people are writing without leaning over like the oldest person on the planet, but this is how it works. So oh, keep it up. I will. Thank you. <sighs> Hate that I'm so blind now. And now I have bifocals, which sucks. So like snotty now. Whoop. All right. Nice. You want to like you know coleslaw dice? Make it real fine. It doesn't have to be. That's the bent. The nice thing about this particular coleslaw. My grandpa would leave it pretty chunky is also I'm fine with it either way um, yum. Yum. all right now goes in the bowl not good at that impression. I am always making a mess. Yeah. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> I don't mean to be, but I'm a messy cook. So, mayonnaise and mustard. And I like to add a little bit of spicy mustard because it's yummy. I will, um, instead of a spicy mustard, I will use a little bit of sriracha. It can be a fun um, alternative to just a regular coleslaw, especially for like barbecue. It's a really good, really spicy, yummy. This just tastes like home to me. So good. I'm gonna have to add a lot more mayo. Maybe not a lot more, but a good amount more. Well, maybe not. We're distributing pretty well. Make sure you pull the onions up from the bottom, get them all mixed through. Um, you can also add like cilantro to this. It's really good in there. Um, I like it. I'm kind of a purist. I like it just straight up mayonnaise, mustard, pepper, cel or celery, Ooh, cabbage, and onions. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, probably a little more. Hell yeah! Oh 
Oh yeah, bitches. So good. <laughs> I was like, I was looking at this like, is that butter? I think my magic might be working already. I'm gonna add a little more pepper. Whoops. I'm gonna mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it up. It's so good. You don't need any salt because it's already like, because the mustard and the mayonnaise already got kind of a good amount of salt. And it's just, the flavor is so, it's just so yummy. <laughs> so good. All right. Where's my lid? Watch out. Move, move, move. Oh my God. I will eat this alongside my leftover spaghetti later tonight. Because when you want to let it sit just for a little bit, Oh, because those onions are really, really, they spicy. They spicy. Um, <laughs> and letting them just kind of sit in the, um, with the cabbage and the, it just chills it out a little bit. Um, not really sure why or if that's actually science, but it, it seems to be the case for me. Um, it also like lets the, um, the flavors just kind of mingle a little better. So. Takes away the bite and the other stuff. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I'm gonna eat some more chocolates. Does anyone have any questions for me? Probably not. All right. I'm gonna clean this up. Because <laughs> I made a mess. Made a mess as usual. I wish I could have like a composter with me that didn't make my car smell like farts. Rotting, <laughs> rotting fruits and vegetables is not something you really kind of want to roll around with. So, and since I don't have a home with a garden, have a home. I mean, I stay at homes with gardens sometimes, but and sometimes oh, I will actually go ahead and drop these in some of the plants. Uh, give them some extra nutrition. Guys, you gotta move. Five more magic. Up to 20 magic. the dogs. Come here. I'm gonna let you jump on me just once. Come here. Come on. <gasps> Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> this is Cleo and Betsy. Uh, they are usually not allowed to do this so they're losing their minds because they're so excited. All right, get down. Good girl. Get down. Good girl. I'll get you a treat. Come on. Come over here. No, no, no. Ah, no. Holy crap. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Everything's falling down. Here's a, here's a, uh, an interesting tip. If you don't have a sandbag to weigh down your, your tripod, use chocolate chips or something like it. All right, come here, you little turds. No, young lady, stop. Get your face out of the drawer. All right, come here. Sit, sit, easy, good girl. You sit, no, sit, easy, easy, good girl. Oh. Sorry, forgot that moved. Anyway, I'm all done cooking. So if anyone's watching, I'm probably gonna log out now and I'm probably watch Encanto again and eat the rest of my magic, which uh, maybe I'll do more live later when I'm magical. Um, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Sorry, YouTube. Hi, I doubt anybody's even watching over here, but 
Zero watchers, fine. It's funny, I have like 2,000 followers on YouTube or subscribers and they don't give a shit. <laughs> None of them, wa one person watches my stuff that subscribes to my channel. Um, he's my delightful friend, Jim. And I love you, Jim, if you're watching, I love you. <sighs> He'll usually say hello if he tunes in. Anyway, I'm gonna log out of here cause I'm like done. <laughs> Time's so close by. Um, I'm like super all up in your face. All right, so go to this one.